Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, publishing video to the internet every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. And as much as I wanted to try to keep everything in one channel, I'm not sure if that's the best way to go anymore, because YouTube changes an algorithm and all hell breaks loose. So, I've been doing Perillo picks for quite some time. If you don't subscribe to my classic channel at youtube.com slash chrisperillo, you should. Because we do a vlog every day, that's me living a geek lifestyle, even though I know... The name of this channel is Geek Lifestyles. I'm streaming this live. I do a live video every weekday. TLDR, the Locker Gnome Daily Report. Part of it is the Daily Show and Tell. So uh, today it's going to be a uh, an action figure haul, a Star Wars action figure haul, starting with Ahsoka Tano. Now this is the six inch Black Series line. I'm not going to open her because I only have one, and I'm looking for a second one. And unfortunately, every time I go to look for them being in stock, they're no longer in stock. And I'm not going to pay anything more than retail. This one, about 20 bucks. That's usually what it's worth. If you can find it for less than 20, you're usually uh, in, in a you know, pretty good company. Uh, normally, uh, people will snap this up and then sell it at scalper prices, which I am not interested in at all. Ahsoka Tano, I'm absolutely interested in getting a duplicate of, so that I can open this box, or one of the boxes, whichever one is in um, not as prime condition. I also picked up a Kanan Jarrus. Ahsoka Tano, you might remember from the Clone Wars as well as Rebels now. Kanan, primarily from Rebels. Of course, you might also know him from his comic arc, which wasn't that bad. I'm not going to say it was like the most amazing one that Marvel's produced recently in the Star Wars line. Not my favorite, but right up there. Uh, but I am probably going to be fine with just one Kanan, or, uh, uh, you know, just thinking ahead, you know, even if I've seen him uh, uh, in the store, I'm probably not going to grab him. I, I, I only need one in the box, and I'm fine as a collector. Some people might want more. I'm good. I'm good with one Caleb Doom. Did I say Caleb? Did I? Did I? Oops. Did, should I have said spoiler? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, this is Kanan. And uh, also in the six inch variety, uh, I only needed one of them and I have one. The next uh, one I want to show you, I actually have two because one I intend on opening. This is the First Order Snow Trooper, as opposed to the Officer, which I do believe was a Toys R Us exclusive. This is not a Toys R Us exclusive. It's uh, labeled as number 12. I got two of the other ones, two of this one, because this is one that I will eventually uh, want to open. Uh, of course, I think that the way Hasbro's done the uh, the boxes for the Black Series, specifically this uh, the latest iteration of the boxes... I love the color red. Uh, these have an in, in insanely amazing display value, at least from the front. Not so much the back, not so much the side, uh, but specifically from the front. So you, you definitely want to try to find a way to display, or you know, if you're just collecting to, to, to have them and hold them and treasure them forever, you can display them however you want, or not display them. Some collectors don't display at all. I like a mix of the two. But you know me, I'm uh, more of a fan of characters or, or creatures or monsters or aliens that don't have human likenesses. If they do, I'm fine with one. Uh, so then there's one more in the newer edition of the box series, Luke Skywalker Tatooine. It's got soft goods right there, and you can take it off, and I guess he's got muscles underneath. I haven't done it. I'm not going to get another Luke. I'm not going to open the Luke. Don't want to open the Luke. Just wanted it for the collection, right? So, uh, happy to have it in the collection, but uh, since it is does have a human likeness, it's not necessarily one that I wanted a duplicate of. Uh, you know everything you need to know about Luke. This is new, brand new, uh, relatively brand new. Should be available uh, in wide release around the world. A lot of people chase Luke. That just doesn't happen to be my focus. So I'm happy with one. Quite thrilled with one. I have no issue with this one at all. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I've honestly, I've not been a Black Series completist. I'll be honest. Uh, whether we're talking about the smaller 3.75 inch scale uh, or we're talking about uh, the 6 inch scale. But I did have a chance to get some on sale for less than twenty dollars, uh, here's Commander Cody. You again might remember uh, from the Clone Wars, very briefly in in, in the prequels, uh, specifically in Episode Three. Um, but you know, I know of the character Commander Cody. I like how uh, the 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 uh, the Republic designed. Well, I guess the the, the Republic ethos really. This isn't a, an Imperial ethos. It's a pre-Imperial ethos. Uh, but as you can see, the box art and the box is, is, is completely radically different, including, well, not just the color, but you can see the backdrop and everything. Did not complete this series, but I may go back if the prices are good and, and grab a few, maybe not all of them, that I may want to get for my collection. These are probably going to stay inside the box. Ooh, there's a little bit of gunk there. 
It's fine. It's okay. It's normal. Uh, clone Trooper Captain. And you can tell that this is probably more of the, uh, well, the first generation of, of clones, if only because of the helmet design compared to the later generation of, of clones, the more of the Episode 3 era of clones. They have a different... Uh, different helmet design than the uh, the older series. Uh, but many of the Star Wars fans kind of already knew that. Again, got it at a good price. Sometimes it's okay to wait. Sometimes I want to snap them up. But that's another reason I'm not willing to pay scalper prices. Um, not to say that they're giving them away, but I want to say that I got these pretty close to 25 to 50% off. Pretty good. Did not have the Emperor before, Emperor Palpatine, uh, in, in any of the Black Series that I know of. Uh, but again, it was cheap. I'm like... Okay, I'll, sure, why not? It's there. Uh, and if I needed to add something to the cart to get free shipping, I was good. I was helping a local uh, guy. He uh, runs a website, theincredibletoybox.com. Really nice guy, Aaron. Uh, I believe in supporting small businesses and supporting fellow collectors. And so it just made sense. It added up. I didn't have it. And uh, now I do. I, I would have been, I probably in the store, you know, uh, would have walked by him, but decided at this point that it was time to get Emperor Palpatine, at least the Black Series Emperor Palpatine. Uh, last but not least in the Black Series six inch line, Boosh. Boosh. They never actually said the name aloud. It, Princess Leia in disguise that she she's the, the, the cardboard. It's not bent. It's just, it's kind of, not buckled, it's just curved there. So, Leia is not going to turn. And this, the reason why I, I have it on the turntable, so you can see it from all sides, uh, but I will hold Leia still, trying not to get the wrong reflection. I like this. I, you know, I, I want to remove this one from the package, if only so that I can put the, the helmet on, because that's, you know, kind of what I prefer. Not to say Leia's bad, it's just I, I don't necessarily chase Leia figures. And it was, again, on sale. And, and when I find a figure that I don't necessarily have that's on sale, I'm, I'm usually inclined to snap at it, or to, to grab it. So on the back, we see Bib Fortuna and Boosh. Uh, one of my favorite figures of the uh, or vintage line. I'm talking to the Kenner vintage line. I, I got a few more, if only because they were, I guess, on closeout. Uh, uh, 41st Elite Core Clone Trooper, also Episode 3 era, to my knowledge. Didn't have it. Got it. This is the Black Series. This is the, the 3.75 inch scale Black Series. I'm just going to back to back these things. Uh, clone Pilot, number eight. Sorry, you won't be able to read the back. But I'm, try I'm just trying to speed it along, you know? Uh, and then uh, a sec. Wait a minute. I got two of these? Oh, cool. I got two of these. I didn't know. I Apparently, I ordered two. I better check the invoice because I think I only ordered one. I, I better. I'm, I'm not going to open this. I'm honest. I'm with, I would send it back if I didn't order this one. I gotta check. So I'm. I'm honest. I. I really am that way. Or you know, if I did order two, then I can open one. Yay! So Perillo picks every weekday, different show and tell. Uh, generally, things that you know I. I get on a regular basis that I just like talking about. They don't necessarily fit completely within the vlog that we do on a daily basis. Uh, they're not the tech content that I largely produce for my patrons, uh, but it's still fun to do. So TLDR every weekday, one tech topic and then tech Q&A and tech news. Uh, patrons get uh, pretty much most, if not all of that. Uh, Perillo picks. I'm going to try to do it weekday in the Geek Lifestyles channel. We're going to try. A lot of it's probably going to be Star Wars, and I'm not going to apologize for that. Uh, of course, daily vlogs happening uh, consistently uh, at youtube.com slash Chris Perillo, and because I, I, I like doing it that way, and maybe when we do when I do hangouts on a regular basis, it's usually uh, in the Chris Perillo channel too. It's difficult to have one YouTube channel. I tried. I tried, but YouTube changes things, and, and, and I, I just want to produce more and more content. I love I love doing this stuff. I love it. You know, I, it's, it's so hard for me to limit my excitement for a lot of these things. I, I don't want to limit myself, so the best way to address it is to segment by topic. So thank you for uh, tuning in. I am now going to move on to answer some questions from my patrons. I'll also talk about today's news with my patrons. And uh, if you want to hear that, you can head over to uh, chrisperillo.com for more information. Just a few minutes ago, I, I gave them the three reasons why I don't like the Internet of Things and I don't trust it, and I would recommend that you not get any Internet of Things devices. I just talked about it. I gave them the advice, though, so if you, if you want it, well, you just got to become a patron. Head over to chrisperillo.com. Today's free podcast highlight was brought to you by all of my active patrons from chrisperillo.com. If you want access to the full TLDR episodes, both audio, video, past, present, and future, which can be up to an hour long or longer, with even more tech insight from me every weekday, plus other bonus content without ads, and support me at the same time, <clears throat> 
you can sign up to become one of my supernomies too. This is just a brief taste of what I'm producing for you daily. Again, get more through chrisperillo.com.